I am fully self-hosted right now and in today's video I'm going to explain you guys why did I manage to self-host my movies, my music, even Xbox Game Pass Cloud, I am fully self-hosted myself with my own games and stuff like this. So in today's video we're going to jump in and explain every single thing that I'm doing. Now, if you don't want to jump into the self-hosting trend, just to let you know, it's very addictive. I have like three or four computers in the house. I have Raspberry Pis. I have everything. I tried everything. The thing, the moment you manage to do something by your own is very, very pleasing and it's becoming addictive to try more new things. So how I'm self-hosting my things? I have a Unray computer and I have a DXP 4800 Plus NAS from Ugreen and I'm using both of them. Now, the reason why I'm using both of them is that my Unray will have my personal data and things like this that I want to keep it just locally for me. While my Ugreen will have data and picture that I want to access outside of my house because it's much easier to go with Ugreen going through their servers rather than set up my own thing in the house. Now, don't get me wrong, with Unray you can set up everything and you can access it outside your house. The easiest way I think is Tailscale. You can install Tailscale, give access to you know, to your VPN and then once you're connected to it, you can then access your Unray server and everything that sits on your Unray server. But with Ungreen, Ugreen, I'm sorry, it's it, it's much easier, at least for me, it's more convenient and stuff like this. So I have those ones and with those ones, I'm using it to stream my movies and I'm using Plex, my movies, TV shows and my music. I'm streaming everything from Ugreen and Unraid because I have a backup with Unraid on all of my movies and all of my movies are technically set up on Unraid but they are you know the shares are accessible from Ugreen so I can stream it from both of them and it makes my life easier because like this I don't have to pay for any subscription I don't have to pay like Netflix I don't have to play like Spotify I don't have to play for pay for nothing now if you're in a budget there is an actual easier way to do it you can just purchase like a Raspberry Pi a USB hard drive and then you can install every single thing that you want on it and make it worldwide. I'm pretty sure I have a video that I'll link right here so you can click on it and go directly and see how it's done and it will cost you about 50 60 dollars something like this close to it. Now this is for me when I'm doing this the reason the main reason why I'm doing this first is cost and then there are some people that will say well yeah but the cost of electricity with the cost of subscription is kind of there. It's not even close because subscriptions are becoming more and more expensive it's not even close and this is how I'm hosting my movies and my music don't get me wrong you can sell way more things you can have like a pie hole server what pie hole does it will block the ads in the entire house so if you're going on CNN for example on any other website CNN pretty sure nobody's visited uh, you won't see any ads on it it will be like a perfect experience rather than a one article and free ads things like this right so you can still self-host everything you can self-host like an audible replacement you can self-host whatever you want kindle replacement everything now for me i'm also self-hosting my own xcloud games now with game pass xbox game pass the thing that i love the most is that you can stream your own game from all over the world and you can actually do this by yourself self-hosting it and i'm using apollo and moonlight in a computer with a 1060 Nvidia 1060 with 6 gigabytes of RAM, all computer, but it works perfectly. I can stream my games, I'm playing, I can play them from wherever I want. Don't get me wrong, I'm not streaming them outside my house too much, only just from time to time. But inside the house, I have a Mac and I don't want my gaming computer to be, you know, turn off the Mac, turn on the gaming computer, replace it, because I only have one monitor and stream like this. And what I do, I just stream the game from directly from my computer to my Mac or directly through my smart TV. And I have literally no problem doing things like this. And I'm going to show you a little bit of how it works. Now, to make you understand, my internet connection is 900 megabytes per second. I'm not 100% sure how much internet you will need to actually stream this thing. But I have a video on how to do it. If you want to try it, you can click here. You can see the video there. It is very easy to set up everything. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit of, you know, how it works, how the streaming works, how the game works. How there's no lag and things like this you have sometimes some small problem with sound but not too big of a deal and yeah let me show you guys a little bit of gameplay so how i'm doing it in my computer i'm using the application called moonlight right to actually connect to my server and you can select some things here don't ignore this one because this are for my kids so easy i can open steam and it will open i have a wireless control over here and it will open steam the beautiful thing about it it will open steam in big picture mode it will be like I'm 
playing on the Steam Deck, you know. So how you can see, I have all of my games here and I can just play, you know, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, really good game. But if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps me out. And leave a comment below, let me know what you think and if you actually self-host it. I will play like this, so you guys will see if you can see any lag. How you can see, literally no lag. It's perfect, like literally it's perfect. And yeah, I can play my games from streaming from my computer on any device. You can do this on your Mac, you can do this on your iPad, you can do this on your Android tablet and whatever you want. And most of you will say, oh, well, this game is actually like a low end game. So that that's why everything, you know, works perfectly. But you can literally try it with every single game that you want. As long as your computer, your main computer can, can run it, you will be able to run all the games that you want. So yeah, how you can see, I'm having, you know, I'm having fun playing some games. Every single thing works perfectly. So yeah, this is how I'm self hosting everything. This is my experience. Let me know in the comments below, do you guys self host things and stuff like this? Do you have a passion about it? Do you want to try? And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. And hopefully this video helps somebody decide that. Listen, self-hosting is actually really, really worth it in 2025. I'll see you guys in the next one.